Hi everybody, thank you for watching. So today's video, I'm finally going to take on a popular challenge, makeup challenge that has been going around. So I'm going to be doing the how I did my makeup in college video. So really it seems like the one that's been the most popular and the most done is how I did my makeup in high school. And the reason why I didn't do that video was because honestly, I don't really remember the makeup that I did in high school. I used whatever my mom had in the bathroom if I ever felt like doing my makeup. The only times I really did my makeup in high school was like on game days because I was a cheerleader all four years. So if we had games or if we had like tournaments, then, you know, all the cheerleaders would meet and we'd do each other's like hair and makeup. But that's really the only time that I did. Like, I was not big into makeup in high school because when I would try it, like, I could just remember, like, constantly failing or, like, always getting made fun of by usually my older sister, like, always making fun of me. Like, when I did, like, blue eyeshadow or something and she'd tell me I look stupid. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm not going to do that anymore. So I just can't remember. I've tried looking through photos and I'm like, I don't feel like that'd be a very good video. It'd probably be really short and like I'd put some powder on my face and maybe some mascara and we'd be done. And so I've been watching other videos and like some people are even doing like middle school and high school and college. I've seen a very few colleges, but I'm like, you know what? I want to do this because I think it's a lot of fun to watch and it's kind of fun to like see the different mistakes slash techniques that we used to use back in the day. So I thought this could still be a fun challenge. So I thought, why not do how I did my makeup in college? I feel like I can remember it for the most part, but what I can mostly remember is like the such the silly things that I did that I like cannot wait to show you guys that this is what I thought I was supposed to do back in the day. Like, how did my husband ask me on a date? I don't know that answer, but I'm going to show you guys. I'm excited. I don't have all of the makeup products that I used, but some of them like aren't around or I, you know, just can't find them anymore. Pick the items from my collection that I feel like are the closest to what I remember having type of thing. So that's how we're going to do it. But if you would like to see how I did my makeup in college, please keep watching. I'm just gonna put my hair back real quick. I will also try to include like any photos that, that I can find from back in the day that I like maybe feel like show off my makeup. I don't know if there will really be a lot like that, but any photos that I can find, I'll continue to share throughout this video. So if you guys watched the video that I did about my husband, it was the get ready with me, it's story time about meeting my husband and all that. I talked a little bit about like our time in college. Uh, I went to a private college in Des Moines, Iowa for business and that's what I graduated with my bachelor's in. I have my degree in business and leadership. And honestly, like I had an absolute blast in college. Like I know they say like high school is supposed to be your best years and I completely disagree with that. Like honestly, high school to me, especially when I was thinking about it with this makeup challenge, like it's just not memorable. College was just so much fun. I met, you know, some of my closest friends that I'm still friends with now. I met my husband there. I just had an absolute blast. I would not change my college experience for anything. I wish I could go back sometimes but not to do the makeup that I'm about to show you. So one thing that I bought in college that I just thought was so cool, I can remember going to my job at the hospital. I worked at a VA hospital while in college and after college. And I remember coming in to the office one day and like telling my friend in the office, I was like, I bought a new foundation, I'm so excited. So this is what I bought, it's from Alme and it's their Smart Shade Smart Balance. So uh, technically, I do not believe this is a foundation. It says it's skin balancing makeup. It's more like a BB cream to me. Like if I had to classify it, it would be like a BB cream. So right, I sit down in the office. I'm like, oh, I'm so excited. I got my new makeup with me. Like, oh, I'm going to do big things. I went ahead and put some on my hand. And this is what it came out like. If you can see that, it's like white. And I was like, um, I think I bought the wrong shade or I... I bought the wrong something, like something is wrong here. And my friend was like, no, you just gotta put it on your face and then when you blend it in, it's supposed to like match your skin. I'm like, how do you know that? Like, teach me your ways, I don't understand. How did I not know that? Like, that's such a memory that sticks out to me was literally putting that on my hand and being like, why is it white? But then it is, when you blend it in, it's supposed to match your skin pretty well. And I think it does a pretty good job. Honestly, I've used this all my 
foundation pretty frequently anyways like I've gone through so many different bottles of it because I really do like it I really like this and the Maybelline um, dream fresh BB cream both of them I love and yes I used my hands back in college I think you're maybe gonna see one makeup brush in this entire video so <laughs> get ready so then after that what I would do is I would conceal my under eyes because like obviously that's what everyone would talk about was concealer I'm pretty sure this is the first concealer that I ever bought it's the Maybelline instant age rewind like I can even remember like the doctors and the nurses in the office like talk about this whenever we would like chat about makeup so I, I'm pretty sure I'm not a hundred percent but I'm pretty sure this is like the first concealer that I ever bought but I didn't really understand it and what I want you guys to know is that I honestly did not know how to do makeup until like two years ago. Like probably about one year before getting on YouTube is when I was like, you know what? No, like I need to figure makeup out. I need to be able to do this because it's something I've always been so interested in. And I always bought all this makeup and then I have no idea what to do with it. I didn't know how to apply it. I was a hot mess. So I got on YouTube to learn and then through learning, I was like, you know what? I can do this too, or I can tell other people that it doesn't matter if you don't know how to do it now, like keep trying, keep practicing, keep watching, keep learning, you can do it. So I just want to point that out, that in college I had no idea what the heck I was doing. So I would take my Instant Age Rewind and I would put like the tiniest bit, like right in the corners of my eyes. Like, that's where I would put the concealer and then I would take it and cover like any other marks because you know I didn't have a full coverage foundation on obviously I just have my BB cream on so that's what I would do and then I would take my finger and blend it out because the Morphe G2 was not available back then so I would take my finger and blend it out and honestly I really don't know if this did anything for me back in the day because I remember using such like a teeny tiny amount that like as I'm blending it out now I'm like how in the world did this actually do anything for me? Okay, so after we've made this big transformation on my face, the next thing I would do is like probably one of my favorite parts to share with you guys, but the next thing we would do is bronze. And I really loved bronzer. So the bronzer I'm gonna use is the NYX bronzer because once again, I'm pretty sure this is the first bronzer that I've ever bought. It's just the NYX matte bronzer in medium because of course I wouldn't pick like a light shade. It came to my bronzer back in college, like I went hard. Like either you go big or you go home, right? So I'm gonna take, I think I lied, I think I have two brushes that you'll see in here, but I'm just gonna take a BH brush I don't even remember what brush that I used to apply this or what in the world that I did, but for bronzer, here we go. This is what I did. Load my brush up with bronzer and then I would apply it all over my face. <laughs> all over just to make sure, <laughs> just to make sure we get nice and bronzed. Um, someone told me like, hey, you're only supposed to put bronzer in like the areas where the sun hits you and I'm like, but the sun hits my whole face, so I'm still doing it right, right? That's not, that's not the right thing that you're supposed to do. Oh uh, yeah. So I don't know. I just treat it bronzer like, like I was setting my foundation or something. I, I don't, I don't like. <laughs> oh God! How did people let me go out like this? I had the worst friends back in the day. Oh my goodness gracious, this is kind of killing me. Like, I mean, Desi Perkins, like, you think you have a bronzer helmet, like, mm-hmm. I feel like I took a bronzer helmet to a new level. I had a bronzer helmet before anyone even knew what a bronzer helmet was. I don't know why I did this with bronzer, but I mean, I don't know if it was because I was, like, obsessed with being tan, because when I was in, it's the craze I feel like started in high school, but also in college. Oh, and yeah, like I didn't do my neck either. No, 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 no. Why would you put bronzer on your neck? It only goes on your face. All over your face. Obviously. But tanning was a huge, huge obsession. Like I said, I remember it started in high school because that's kind of when the um, tanning beds started coming out and the tanning salon started coming out. And like it was so crazy. I, I can literally remember the very first time that I tanned, I can remember going with my mom and going with my sister and laying in a bed for 10 minutes and getting a tan and thinking, this is the best invention of life. 
how have we waited so long to get tanning beds? And I tanned and I tanned and I went to college. One of the very first things I did was get a tanning membership. Me and all the girls, like we would all carpool to the tanning salon and tan for 15 and 20 minutes. And like, I look back and I'm horrified. Do not go to tanning beds, please. Like I'm horrified at what I did to my skin. Like, oh man, I can't believe I did that. But I mean, back then, when they first came out, there really wasn't any like, hey, this is actually really bad for you. And I was like, oh, let me just sit in this tanning bed and get tan. Like, this is the best thing ever. And so, looking good, right? Looking good. It gets better. We are sufficiently bronzed. Got our bronzer helmet on. Then I would put some blush on. And I lied to you again. I have three brushes. I don't know. I'm gonna stop counting how many makeup brushes I have because it's it's more than one. I look ridiculous. How did I leave the house like this? How did I leave my apartment? So then I would go in with blush and I can't remember exactly which blush, but I believe it was like a CoverGirl single because that's what my mom always had. So that's like what I wanted to get to. It's just like the, the one little CoverGirl blush. But I remember I would always go for like the super, super lightest shade so like you could barely see any blush on me. And I mean, it's probably because I had so much bronzer on that I can't really see my blush anyways. But the blush that I chose is from Benefit and this is the Dandelion Blush. Um, it says, sweep this ballerina pink face powder on cheeks as a soft blush or all over face as a brightening finishing powder. So that's like how light it is, if you can see it in here. And this is exactly like what I went for back in the day. So it just comes with its own little brush so I'm just gonna like casually sweep a very small amount under the cheeks because like I don't want you to see too much blush because I'd rather you see the bronzer because that was my that was my life also for brows yeah no no I no I didn't do brows and actually in college and this actually started in high school too my thing was to wax my eyebrows as frequently as I could and basically just wax them off. I really hope that I can find some photos that I can insert in here for you because I had the thinnest, thinnest little eyebrows and I don't know why. I can recall one time being at my friend's house and she was like, my mom's gonna wax my eyebrows. She just got like a wax pot and I was like, I want her to wax my eyebrows too because I always had like, my eyebrows were thicker than this back in the day. I actually started waxing my eyebrows when I was 14 years old. My mom was like, I think we need to get your eyebrows waxed. Because I had like, sometimes like a unibrow thing could be happening. I don't know. It was crazy. My mother introduced me to eyebrow waxing. Thank you so much, mother. Because I needed it. But I remember being at my friend's house and she was like, my mom's going to do my eyebrows. And I was like, will you have her do mine too? Like, that'd be so awesome. And I didn't even say anything to her mom. Like, this is how I do it. Or this is what I want. Or like, just clean them up type of thing. And she waxed like half my eyebrow off and for some reason I can recall looking in the mirror and being like I look amazing like look at my face look how defined my face is you can see all my features why I don't know and I continue to wax my eyebrows that thin through co I'm pretty sure through college like maybe after college or towards the end of college is when I was like actually I don't want my eyebrows to look like little snakes on my head anymore so I'm gonna do something a little different and I let them grow out and now I do wax them mostly just to clean them up type of thing I don't actually like wax half my eyebrows off like I used to but I didn't do any sort of like product with them because obviously I'm trying to get rid of my eyebrows. Now we're trying to like make ourselves have fuller eyebrows. So no brows will be done in this video. Okay, so this is, this is my face. This is my face look. Ah, uh, awesome. So I'm going to move on to my eyes. And I don't have the exact eyeshadow that I use literally every single day in college, but I found like a pretty good match for it. But what I used was, again, another CoverGirl single. I, my mom must have used like a ton of CoverGirl because that's like what I gravitated towards when I started buying my own makeup. But it was a CoverGirl single, and I think this is actually a pretty good color match for it. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Ice Latte. This is what it looks like, and it's really like one of my favorite eyeshadows. I love it but it reminds me so much of that CoverGirl one. This is what it looks like on the inside. Just a really pretty like soft champagne type of color. So I'm just gonna use a BH brush and all I would do, I mean I literally, I used one eyeshadow and the brush that I used is the brush that came in like the little like sponge looking brushes or whatever. That's what I would use. And I would just sweep this all along my eyes. Again, 
this was it. This is my only eyeshadow. I did. I didn't even know what a transition color was. A crease color. Like, <laughs> what? What's that? No, a blending brush. Never heard of it. I remember getting ready for my friend's wedding and she got married fairly close to us like still being in college and like I feel like this is the makeup look I did like minus the bronzer I'm not sure when I got it through my head that my bronzer was to not look like this I will say before I actually learned how to do makeup it took me a lot less time to do my eyes <laughs> that's that's for sure so after my eyeshadow was done I would come in with my eyeliner and this is the eyeliner that I used in college this is one of the very first eyeliners I ever bought I still love it I still use it to this day, still one of my faves, but this is my exact combo that I did on my eyes. This is the Maybelline Unstoppable Eyeliner in Sapphire. So it's a really pretty blue eyeliner. So what I would do with this eyeliner is I would start on like the outer part of my eye and I would only draw halfway in. I wouldn't come all the way to the inner part of my eye. Reason being is that I saw, I like read in a magazine once that it said if you feel like your eyes are smaller, then you're only supposed to take your eyeliner halfway in because it'll make your eyes look bigger, where if you take it all the way into the inner part of your eyes, it can make your eyes look more closed. And I went with that. I went with that for several years. And now I'm like, no. But that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'd start at the outer part. And then bring it in about halfway. Oh, I feel like I went a little more than halfway. My bad. And then I would kind of take the outer and like do some weird flick thing. Not not make a wing. I would just like I would just like flick it. I don't even know. I don't I don't know what that was supposed to accomplish, but that's what I did. I did the same thing on the other eye. If you guys want to hear what I thought was the best part about this eye makeup look? It's probably because I didn't use any eyeshadow primer. So these colors would kind of smudge together like by the end of the night, especially because like in college we did so much like dancing, like, you know, sweating by the end of the night that my eyeliner would start to mix in with the eyeshadow and I thought it made a really cool color and I was like, oh, I have discovered something pretty amazing. Like I thought that was so cool when that would happen when in reality like my eye makeup was just smudging. But I thought it was awesome. You guys, I'm telling you. This is kind of embarrassing to film and share all of this with you guys, but you know what? Don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me. I've been watching these other videos too. Like, some people made some really funny mistakes out there, okay? But then, what I would do next is I would take the same eyeliner pen and I would put that on my lower lash line. I would not put it in my waterline. I did not start doing waterline eyeliner. I know I was out of college, so I'm not going to put it in my waterline, which is going to be really hard for me, but I just put it on my lower lash line. Again, halfway, only halfway, because you don't want your eyes to look too closed, right? Only halfway. Go ahead and draw it underneath the lash line until we get about halfway. <laughs> oh my god! I really did my makeup like this. Oh, so that's what my eye makeup looked like. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Oh, on the lower lash line, don't go in the waterline. Only go halfway. I have glitter fallout all around my eyes. All around my eyes. So I've got halfway. Okay. You guys want me to zoom you in? Let me zoom you in so you can see the beauty that I have going on here. So this is what my eye makeup looked like in college, but I mean, we're not done yet. <laughs> Hello, we're not done yet. But just so you guys can see a close up of how gorgeous my eye makeup was in college. And this is it. Here with you guys, what I did for lashes. Like, I'm really excited to share this part. So, when I first started college, I wasn't totally on the false lash trend yet. I mostly did mascara, and what I had was like the double ended mascara. I believe it was from Maybelline, and it came in like a blue packaging, but it would have like the white eyelash primer on one end and then the black regular mascara on the other end. I thought it was so cool. Like, I thought it was awesome. I used it every single day, no matter what. I would always put the white on first and then the black. I just thought it was super cool. Probably, probably like towards my second year maybe even, even that early on because I can remember being in the honors dorm and gluing false eyelashes on. That was my second year of college. So 
I started getting more into false lashes. I absolutely loved them. And then I started to kind of be known as like the girl who wore false eyelashes because nobody else would. And even though I did not know how to do makeup, I did not know how to do eyelashes and you will see that very soon. I was like, I don't care. This is what I want to do. I've always wanted big, beautiful eyelashes and I'm not going to get them naturally. So I'm going to buy false lashes and I'm just going to own it. And I did. I owned it. But let me show you how I applied them. So I feel like you guys are thinking like, how did she apply her eyelashes? Like, why would this be such a big deal? Like, how can you not apply false eyelashes well? Well, I will show you. So I have a new pair of Ardell lashes here. There's are their Glamour. They look like Glamour Wispies to me, even though it doesn't say Wispies on it, but it looks like the Wispies. So I got this new pack here that I wanted to save for this video once I decided to do it because I would take my eyelashes and I would take my duo eyelash adhesive. When I first started eyelashes, I only did white adhesive because that was like all that I knew. And looking back, I'm like, oh my word, how did I do that? I only use dark toned eyelash adhesive now and I highly recommend that for anybody. Like just stay away from white adhesive. It's not going to do you any favors. And I would take the eyelash right from the little, little jiggy there. I'd put my white adhesive on it and I would put it onto my eye. I would not cut my lashes. Do you see how long? these lashes are these lashes are not going to fit on my eyes but I did not care I did it anyways I would have an eyelash oh my I am scared because these even look long these look really long oh my word but you know what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna I'm gonna put my adhesive on that was one thing that I actually did know was like after I put the lash adhesive on like I knew to let it sit and get tacky thankfully especially with white adhesive like you could really mess things up if you just went right in with it but I will be back to show you what this looks like because it's gonna be fantastic oh my word so after the adhesive has had some time to dry I would put it on my lash not with tweezers not with anything like that I didn't even know that you could use tweezers for eyelashes I didn't know you were supposed to cut the eyelashes I would just go ahead and pop them on this is really hard to do with my fingernails this is how I always used to do them and now I'm like oh I can't do it it's not like comfortable in the slightest, like the inner part is driving me insane, but you know what? I only have to wear this for a few minutes, so it's okay. Okay, so I got my adhesive on my other lash, so I'm going to let that dry for a few minutes. But as we're winding down this video, I just want to say that I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. Like, I hope you found this video fun. I honestly did not expect that I would laugh as much as I did throughout this video, but sometimes like just looking at the viewfinder and seeing my face or looking in the mirror, I'm like... What in the world was I thinking? Like, I feel like maybe the makeup wouldn't be that bad if I didn't go super crazy on the bronzer. And again, I don't know if it's just because I wanted to be tan so much that that's why I went so crazy with the bronzer. But, like, I'm glad that it was probably, once again, my second year of college. I feel like my second year of college, I really started to not figure things out. I'm not going to say I started to figure things out, but I started to slowly show improvements slowly but surely I started to see some improvements nothing crazy nothing life-changing yet like that didn't come until like I said two years ago and I graduated from college in 2009 so that gives you any clues there but this was actually a lot of fun to do I thought about not doing it just because these videos have been going on for so long I'm like does anyone even want to watch them anymore but like to me it's hysterical to see them so I thought why not why not give you a little glimpse into my life? This eyelash is driving me insane. How did I go out all night with an eyelash right in my inner corner of my eye? Oh, my word. Oh, oh, oh. See, I go to put my eyelash on like where I'd normally put my eyelash on. That's how much I had, had to cut off. That's, that's a lot to cut off. So let me go ahead and move that on down. Lash was... The lash was a bit harder to get on. That was that was a bit more challenging. Did you guys see like how much of my lash that I should have been cutting off? Like, oh man. And I honestly like I can remember finding the dark tone adhesive. Like I think I was reading a magazine once and it said, because you know back in the day you read magazines, and it suggested using the dark tone, and so I went out and bought it and I was like, this has literally changed my whole life. Like my whole life got changed, you guys. My whole life. Okay. So our lashes are on. 
We're looking beautiful. And then I just finish it up with my lip. Off my gorgeous makeup look, I would do my lips. And back in the day, I really didn't do lipsticks or lip colors because I mean I already have these fabulous lashes and this brand is up skin like why would I want my lips to take away from them so what I would use was the Maybelline baby lips just like a clear or maybe sometimes just like a little bit of a tinted lip balm I don't have any of the baby lips but right now I'm using the CoverGirl Oh Sugar in Candy and that seems to be like the most similar to me because this is like literally just like a clear lip balm so I would just apply it like so, and then my makeup look is complete. What do you guys think? D maybe don't tell me, like you don't have to tell me honestly what you think though, cause that might really hurt my feelings. But that is gonna be it for how I did my makeup in college. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video or found it funny or got a good laugh because I laughed really hard doing this video. I'm glad that I made the decision to film it because this actually was a lot, a lot of fun. If you have not filmed a how I used to do my makeup challenge type of video, I really suggest that you do because it was kind of fun to think back and actually think of how I used to leave my apartment and go to parties and go in public and it's amazing. It's so funny to think of like how you've transitioned because even like I said, like this is what I did my first year of college and the second year I started to get a little bit better. Through a period of my life where like I lost so much confidence in myself and like in everything that I was doing and I basically just stayed away from makeup completely like it just, it just happened and then I was able to get back into it and get my confidence back and really just find the fun in makeup. You know, makeup doesn't have to be such a serious thing. It can be fun and it can be an outlet for creativity and that's what I have found with it. So it's just really fun to see the transition throughout the year. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If there are any other challenge videos out there or if you have an idea for a challenge video that you'd like to see me do, please do leave that in the comments below. I go through every single comment and I appreciate them so much. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you will. I have a really huge fall giveaway going on right now with makeup and beauty and skincare and clothing and selfie sticks and home decor and all this crazy stuff. So make sure that you check out the fall giveaway that is happening now. Make sure you are subscribed before you go and I will just catch you real soon in my next one. Bye.